Hey there, back with another video. I hope all y'all are doing well. If you're new here, my name is Tyrone and I do a lot of different reviews as well as travel. So definitely consider subscribing if you're into that and like this video for more content like this. Today we'll be looking at the Adobe Premiere Rush uh, application on iPad. Uh, you can strictly basically edit a whole video from your iPad without having a computer or anything. Um, so I'll show you my workflow and what I use to edit a video. Um, I will be looking at a video that I have edited previously that's on my YouTube channel now. If you want to check that out, check the card above. Um, this is the 18 hours before we got to Hawaii, uh, whenever I traveled to Hawaii. So definitely stay tuned for that and let's get right into it. All right, so I'm using the iPad Pro 11 inch. Um, this is the first gen, so it just depends on what iPad you have. Any iPad will work uh, for this application. So definitely just keep that in mind um, for speed wise or space wise whenever you import all of your footage for this particular project or whatever project you're working with. All right, so here we go. This is my iPad. Um, I have the Apple Pencil, the second gen as well. Um, so this is the Adobe Premiere Rush. Um, first, this is like what you would see at the beginning. Um, and of course you'll hit the add if you need it to start a new project. Um, but I'll just go to the project that I already have made. All right, so right here is just your storyboard and what you start off with. Um, the library here, you'll go here as well. So your project assets will be all right here in the folder. Um, and this is where you would drop in all of your different content into your storyline. Um, one thing I did do before I even left for Hawaii was I did a diff, I did, I added a few different things for my computer that I transferred over to my iPad. So the first part that I added was um, the ending part. So this is my ending part for my YouTube channel. Um, I made sure that I had this picture. I made sure I had, well, it's actually a video. I made sure I had this video put on my iPad before I left because if I didn't, then I wouldn't have that video from my computer. So I used Apple um, Files, um, which is able to like transfer from my computer to my iPad. So I can just put that all in a folder and just go to Files and just drag and drop that in. So I was able to get that in. Um, I also dropped in my subscribe as well. I dropped that in as well. And basically I did a separate video um, of me just having this with nothing behind it. And then I took that video, I imported it, and then I removed the background from it so that it could be transparent and I can be able to just put that over as like a video. Um, because this is like a um, preset that I have on my computer with Final Cut. So I had to find a way around it. So the way around it was to save that and then do a transparent background. And the beginning part, the beginning part I didn't transfer over, which I should have, um, because I didn't really like that intro text for that. Um, but I was able to use the Rush, um, the Adobe Rush um, application. They have a few different texts that you can choose from. They're not really extravagant, um, but they are something that you can use. And then the music for it, I made sure that I had the music. So, we made it through. so I downloaded that music ahead of time as well, which I really didn't need to because of the simple fact that I use, I get all of my music from Epidemic Sound. So I can easily just download that from my iPad um, from Safari and just airdrop that in or drag and drop that in so it wasn't a big deal so let me just show you this is the file part of how i put things together personal okay so i was able to so in files i was able to do a personal youtube folder and this is all of the different um all of the different presets that i used to put into the video um because if I didn't have these, then I wouldn't have been able to put those in because I didn't have my computer that actually had all of that stuff in there. I probably could have recreated something, but it would have been more time consuming. So I was able to go ahead and just put all of this in 
and I had it there available in the cloud. All right, so, so mainly you have your um, project assets as well. So you can just pinch in with two fingers to zoom in to your storyline. And so the first part, I just did like an intro of the airport. And of course you have the text that comes in and then you have the music behind it. And so basically here, all you have to do is whenever you are doing a video and say you want to, say I want to cut it right here, all you have to do is either with the Apple Pencil or your finger, just go over here and slide over to the line. Um, and then once that is done, then you just let go and then it's cut. So then therefore you just play it in, cuts over, boom. All right, and so basically there is, that's how you're able to do that. And then with here with the music, so I had the music very loud at the very beginning because there was no talking. And then I had to fade the music out. So you would have to go to the music um, section of the storyline um, and then you make sure you have that like selected and then you'll go over to the Thunderbolt with like three lines to it um, and this is the effects panel the effects panel allows you to fade in and out the music also as well as the video so say if I did want to fade out the video I could fade that as well so which I don't want to fade that out just undo so then basically okay I added a fade in for the video as well as the music so it's a subtle fade um, but you do have that option to go ahead and fade everything in and out on what at whatever you please so this music portion was also faded as well so you can see that when I play it it fades out um, slowly but surely. Um, it's not a subtle just, and you can also adjust this fade for the duration so you can make it even longer so it fades out quicker. So we can. And there you go. And then that music continues to go, but the music is lower down whenever I start talking um, so that you're able to hear it. And so we just, I put all of that in, make sure everything is in. And then whenever I get my subscribe portion in, I uh, just put that over top. You just layer that over top and it just goes in. Once you have that transparent background, then you won't be able to see the black part because whenever I imported this, it was black and then it just had that in it. So I had to make sure it was transparent. Um, and I did that and it was able to just go lay over like I was editing for my computer. And you're able to add text as well. So the text panel will be the first over and you just hit add graphic and they have a few different texts. Some of them you have to have like a subscription um, to put in. But other than that, the text, text options are pretty good. To delete anything, you just hit it again and hit delete if you want to split a storyline if you want to split a video to maybe like delete that first portion or the last portion just hit it and it will split wherever you have the cursor at so that is split um, and then you can just undo that and it will come back all together all right and so basically that's literally how I really edited the 18 hour um, 18 hour before Hawaii um, it wasn't a lot to it because I didn't have a lot of graphics um, since I was limited to just the iPad. So yeah, I went through all of Hawaii with just my iPad. I didn't bring my computer, which was crazy. Um, but I was able to just go in and get to wherever I wanted and then stop over. So so we made it through, um, we just made it through, what was that, TSA? Yeah, TSA security. And so here, I wanted to emphasize that I was on the tarmac for the first time, so I just put like a little text there at the bottom. Um, you can definitely select the text part portion of it, 
And if you want to move it around or make it bigger, just select it and you'll have to pinch in uh, to zoom it in or zoom it out or to move it around. Uh, so that's basically all you'll have to do there. Um, I find that the iPad was very easy to use. Um, best, definitely in Adobe uh, Rush, it's very a, it's a great application, um, especially with an iPad where you can um, touch. It's like touch screen compared to a computer. It's kind of harder. You have to kind of click around, um, and it's just a little bit more work. But with the touch screen, you're able to just pinpoint exactly where you want that particular item or that asset to be. Um, so once you're done with putting that out, you can just deselect it. Just deselect it and then move on. All right, and so then we'll just go on over and all the footage that I had. So the footage that you have either if you're recording on iPhone or if you're recording on a camera, with an iPhone you can just airdrop that over to your computer or not to your computer. With an iPhone, you can just airdrop that over to the iPad or you can um, put it in a cloud, um, whatever. If you don't have an iPhone and you have an Android and then you have an iPad, then the Android, you can just um, put that in the file, um, a cloud folder, and just access that through the iPad. If you're editing off of a, if you have footage from a camera like I did, I was able to do a um, USB. I was able to plug in um, a SD card reader through USB Type-C in the iPad and I was able to drop that footage over from the camera. Um, so that's how I was able to get all of this footage um, because this footage was recorded on a camera so I was able to do that easily um, and I didn't have any problems with that as well through Rush. Um, Rush didn't close on me or didn't have any type of delays whenever I was putting that footage in. So with the video footage, you're able to also color correct as well. So they have different built-in filters or you can just hit edit and do everything that you want. So the exposure, um, contrast, highlights, shadows, etc. Um, you can able, you're able to do that and do advancements and sharpen and all that. So you're still able to do like color correction as well. And if you did have like a preset or whatever for a different um, LUT, you also could probably put that in as well. I haven't seen, I haven't tried to do a LUT, um, but I know that you should be able to, yeah, because your presets, you're able to drag that preset over and you can make a layer adjustment and put that over. So this is just basically how everything went. And I still have the music playing in the background as well. It was just very low. Um, so that helped as well. And also with the editing part of the video, you're able to take the audio down or you're able to make the audio um, louder. So with that audio, I did take it down some because it was peaking. And you're able to do some audio adjustments, but that is like a Premiere subscription. Yeah, this software is totally free. There is no subscriptions or anything needed. You just download this to the iPad and you're able to just go ahead and start editing. And so with the video as well in Premiere um, Rush, you're able to basically manipulate the whole video. So if I want to change it, change the portion over, um, you can do that. And if you do mess up, on one of these dials, you can just double tap and it will go back to the set that it was at. Um, so you can rotate your videos, change the opacity for it. Um, so like literally everything that you could think of, Adobe Premiere Rush has it, um, which is great. Um, so this really saved me a lot of time so I didn't have two different videos to edit when I got back. It was just this one. Um, it wasn't my best work, but it was through a Adobe Premiere um, brush. So, I mean, hey, it was pretty good video and I still had audio and music as well. So yeah, this was the Charlotte airport or Chicago airport. And you're able to speed the video up as well because this video was really long. And I was able to, if I go here, I'm able to see my speed range. My speed range was 196. If I go back 100, that would have been even longer. 
So 196 was what I had it on, or 197. So it just sped it up a little bit. And this one was, yeah, that one was original. So yeah, um, everything I basically just edited from this iPad. And then um, that was it. And so then I just had my end portion there as well um, coming in also. So with that, also with Adobe Premiere Rush, you're able to change your, the ratio of your video as well in the application. And you're able to manipulate what how big you want the video portion to be and the timeline to be. So everything is really customization. So once you finish that, um, you're able to go and hit share. And then you can just do all your settings there. They have the automatic preset or you can just choose whatever preset works for you. And then you will be able to just export. And you'll be able to export and it will render and do whatever it needs to do. So yeah, that's basically it with Adobe Premiere Rush. Um, I really enjoyed using this for projects that I really don't wanna get on my computer and do a lot of editing too or a project that doesn't require a lot of editing but just needs to be, videos need to be clipped down and just put together and a few graphics and music need to be added. Um, so I will just most likely use this. Um, definitely for travel, I have just used it for that. Um, whenever I'm at home with my computer, I just go ahead and just open my computer and get into Final Cut. So this is the end of the video. I find Adobe Premiere Rush to be a great application if you don't wanna open your computer and jump into a editing software. You can just jump into Adobe Premiere Rush and do like a quick edit on your iPad and it's very simple, very easy, um, user friendly. If you're not into all of the editing portion of things, this is very easy to just go out and do what you need to do quickly and share it as well from your iPad. So if you found this video helpful, definitely leave a like, subscribe to the, to the channel for more content like this, and I will see you in the next video. Stay safe and bye.